Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue Stealth, the Ghost Panther. Chapter 8, Elmo to the Rescue. How you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Turn on the music a bit, then let's get started. <clears throat> Chapter 8 Eleanor to the rescue. No! Eleanor yelled. Before the beast's claws could score Tom down, <clears throat> before the beast's claws could score down Tom's arm, he saw his friend pull another arrow from her quiver. Don't get too close, he he gasped. Eleanor loosened the, the arrow. It hit a stealth on the back of his neck and stuck there. Quivering, the ghost beast snarled and twisted his head. His jaws, his jaws snapping as he tried to grasp the shaft and pull it out. Elena ran towards and gra forwards and grabbed Tom by the arm, hauling him to his feet and back out of range. Thanks, Tom panted. Shivers ran through his body as he realized what would have happened if his friend hadn't been so quick. He would have been turned to evil. Aventia's last hope would have gone. We need a different plan, he said uh, to Elena. I can't risk getting near those claws. Elena nodded, but didn't reply. She was still watching the furious beast, her bow raised, and another arrow notched on the string. Tom remembered how he had uh, swung himself through the air to escape from the store back in uh, Stonewind. That's it, he told himself. I need a rope. If he could lo lasso stealth and climb onto his back, the ghost beast wouldn't be able to reach him with his claws. And then I can rescue the piece of amulet from his collar, Tom thought. Glancing around, he saw a pile of barrels stacked up beside the wall of the inn, bound together by a piece of rope. Tom seized his sword and darted over to them, tugging des desperately at the knotted coils. Behind him, he heard a triumphant snarl and glanced back to see that stealth and had finally wrenched the arrow out of his shoulder. His gleaming teeth glittered and glittered the shaft and he tossed the scraps away. I've got to get this rope loose now, Tom thought. Stealth crouched again, snarling as he prepared to leap at Tom. At the same instance, the nut gave way and Tom pulled the rope free from the barrels. And here is Stealth with the arrow finally out of his shoulder and in his teeth. I've got to get this rope loose now, Tom thought. Stealth crouched again, snarling as he prepared to leap at Tom. At the, at the same instant, the, the knot gave way and Tom pulled the rope free from the barrels. He quickly twisted the rope to form a noose. 
a stove pounced Tom ducked, and the huge panther leaped over him, whipping around as the as he landed to face Tom again. Tom tossed the noose into the air and began to circle it. The ghost beast lashed out at him. But he was too big to uh, maneuver himself pro properly in the narrow valley. Move back, Tom instructed Elena. We need more space. If we have to fight, we'll fight fair. With his gaze fixed on the panther, he heard Elena leading Storm away, and the patter and the patter of Silver's paws on the cobbles. Tom followed them, walking backwards, circling the lasso over his head. Stealth stalked along the alley after him, after them. His tails raking along the walls on either side. As he emerged from the end of the valley, the alley, Tom realized that in their search for stealth, he and Elena had traced a circle through the city. They had arrived back in the main square, not far from the palace gates. Glancing up at the palace, Tom spotted the one lidded window with King Hugo and Wizard Eld with King Hugo, Wizard Elderu, and his father Teladon all watching silently. They've never seen anything like this, Tom thought. I only hope I come out the winner. Stealth had emerged from the alley too, and was prowling across the square towards Tom. Circling the lasso, Tom tried to dodge the best moment to strike. Tried to judge the best moment to strike. Tom, Tom, be careful. Elena's voice had a warning note. He realized that Stealth had understood what he was trying to do. The beast was circling one of his tails above him, above his head, making a lasso out of his own tail. If he ca catches me, I'm done for, Tom told himself. It's now or never. Here is Tom with stealth making a lasso out of his tail. I'm gonna show the art for a few more seconds than usual because it's very detailed art. It would be a shame if I would only show you the art for like two seconds. Then again, you can you guys can uh, always pause the video at any time. So uh, there'll be no issue with me putting it out for a few seconds, more or less. <clears throat> he had to lasso the beast before the beast lassoed uh, him first, and he could see that Stelz's body was gradually beginning to fade into his ghostly form. I've got to catch him before he changes, Tom realized. He sent the rope arching through the air towards the panther. At the same time, Elena fired a volley, a barrage of arrows at the beast's back legs. Stealth's head snapped around and he bared his teeth at her. The beast had turned half ghostly, but Tom could just make out enough of him to aim. Yes! Tom's triumphant sh 
shout echoed across the square as the noose fell perfectly over the ghost beast's head. Tom pulled the rope tight around Stelz's neck and ran to his to his side. Distracted by the struggle, it was clear that Stealth could no longer concentrate on becoming a ghost. And he returned to his full form. Gripping the panther's collar on the one hand, Tom bolted into the beast's back. Stealth struggled Stealth struggled to wrench the rope out of Tom's hands, but Tom held it tight. Stealth swung his head around, his fangs snapping at Tom. But every time he turned to get closer, Tom was carried out of reach on the beast's own body. The rope burned his hands as he clung to it, trying to stay on the ghost panther's twisting back. Sitting a astride the beast, Tom drew his sword again, gripping the rope with his own hand. He managed to scramble to his feet, but almost lost his balance as Stealth reared up on his hind legs on an effort to shake Tom off. And here is that image. That awesome uh, stealth battle that I just read. Yeah. The panther's coal black fur was as slippery as ice, but Tom somehow clung to the rope and climbed up Stealth's spine until he was on in the reach of the collar. With a single stroke, Tom sliced the collar through. It clattered to the ground, the piece of amulet ringing on the cobblestones of the square. Still let out a final roar of pain and anger. At the same instant, a fierce gust of wind blew through the square. A whirling reddish-purple cloud began to form in front of Tom, and a scream of rage echoed through the air. No! Tom re recognized the voice as Malville's. And that was chapter eight. That was chapter eight. Elena to the rescue. Well, Tom defeated stealth. Uh, two more chapters to go. And I hope you like my reading of this chapter. I try to let a little bit more loose and actually act out a bit. If you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> but anyway... That was chapter eight of Beast Quest. And I, guys, and I hope you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you guys are interested in more. We're almost done with series four. Two more chapters to go. And I hope I will see you on Thursday. Well, I'll be reading chapter 9 of Stealth, the Ghost Panther. Alright. <laughs> Hope you have a great Tuesday. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.